Hey guys, this is Abhay Sharma and you are watching Thinking Penguin and in this tutorial we are going to talk about procedural text and by procedural I mean controlling large number of text objects with fewer attributes like a particle system where the number of objects is not fixed you can change it and based on that number those particles those objects uh, behave expectedly so I also wanted to do the same thing with text objects where I don't have to create text objects manually and change it so I uh, this is pretty easy it's not very difficult and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do it and the best thing is it's all procedural it's all dynamic so it's pretty useful so let me just uh, increase the number increase the size Where is the size there is size say 0.5 and you can see these are the text objects and it's, uh, it's a lot of objects lots of text objects and I can change the uh, let's say I want to change the words so I'm going to enter here something so this is uh, split text and it just divides the, your line into words and create a text list and that's I'm just feeding it into a repeat list and an amount is coming from the I think the number of particles I'm using number of you know instances and so let's just go and see this thing so I'm just going to type thinking penguin and you can see everything is updating in real time animation notes and these thing, these uh, so basically there is a one, two, three, four text objects. You can see it in here. Thinking penguin animation notes. Okay, <coughs> and these uh, text, these words are basically distributed in random order, and you can see that. So I don't have to do anything. Uh, you know, go and click a single text and change it. Everything is done procedurally and this is very very useful tool if you want to do these kind of animation and in this tutorial we are going to basically take a look at this and how can we achieve it so let's uh, jump right in all right so the first thing we need is a text object in the in the in the in our scene because animation node cannot generate a text object from the node tree so go and create a text object uh, text object so create a text object here and i'm going to disable the selection and, and, and visibility in the viewport and visibility in the render because we're not going to be using it just use as a reference so then we are going to create a text object output text object output all right and we'll select our text object here and we need a loop okay and then we just going to select this text object text uh, input socket and connect it to the new iterator and also we're going to connect this text to new iterator so basically we are uh, looking for text and a looking for an object text object and a text string basically the the content okay and for this thing to work you have to click on you have to enable this button and that's it this is all what you need to do in order to make the text tool procedural and uh, let's just go and create our invoke sub program and i also need this object list to be as my output so i'm going to create uh, i can go and create a new uh, object list and it will do that but I don't want to do that because it's an extra step so what you should be doing is select your loop uh, loop input node go into the side panel and in the advanced node settings there is an option called iterator sockets and just uh, whatever your input is you can directly bypass it and make it as an output so it doesn't do any sort of processing in the middle so I'm just going to click on use object as output all right now we need something here so uh, we have to create text objects here so to do that what I'll do is I'll create an instancer node and I'll select our 
text object that we have created earlier and let's say I wanted to create five text objects and it will create five text objects in your scene and you can see that um, if you are updated your animation notes uh, add-on uh, now it's not coming in the, into the scene tree it's coming into the uh, its own collection so it's pretty cool so I'm just going to collapse it and now so we have the text objects and we're going to connect it to the object list and now we have to give it uh, some text content so we're going to you can use a lot of nodes but I'm going to use the split text node so split text because it makes it very easy to generate text uh, objects text objects text list what the hell is going on and I'm going to change this to words you can change it to characters as well but I'm going to leave it to words and let's see we have six words we have five text objects and we have uh, six text so I'm just going to connect that and what going okay so what happened here is it it changed it applied all the text objects all the text inputs and ba but basically what is happening it's taking input from just one word the last element because it's the fifth element so uh, you will see that all the text is changed to this text going but I want to copy each word to its uh, respective uh, text objects so you to do that you just have to click on the deep copy and it will do that so you can see that and you know you can what going whatever so you can do these kind of stuff but now uh, we are going to do something else so let's say I want to position it on a uh, on a cube each vertex of a cube so let's create a cube object and I'm going to you know, so let's select this text object select this cube object go into its properties and I'll change the viewport display uh, from texture to wireframe so that I just see or just bounce and then I want to position all the characters all the uh, characters all the words on the vertices each vertex so to do that we have to import all the vertex information in our node tree to do that you can uh, use the mesh input node which I think I have to create from here mesh mesh input select your cube object and now you have the location of all the vertex vertices it has eight vertex so eight vertices so let's change this or you can directly feed this into instances right and what else we need we need a object transform output and we want to control the position so I'm going to turn on the XYZ can connect the objects to objects and locations to locations and you will see that our text is positioned in the on the vertices of each each vertex of the cube object and if I turn on the I'll always button in the animation nodes and do these kind of stuff everything works pretty well everything is dynamic so this is what uh, so that's one example let's do something else so I'm going to delete this and uh, let's delete the cube object as well let's just create a vector wiggle node let's say you want to create a text cloud so if you create the text wiggle node there's an option and let's turn off this always there is an option to convert this uh, so right now it's just uh, giving you one vertex but one 
the one position in 3d space i want a i want multiple positions in 3d space multiple vectors so to do that you just have to click on this button and based on the number you have specified in the count it will give you random vectors in 3d space and let's say i want let's say i want 100 how about that <coughs> and then let's connect this to get length so it will create 100 text objects and then because we don't have enough text objects what should we do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a repeat list repeat list node and uh, you know you can also create a text block node read a text object from outside blender and convert and break it into words and you know apply that also but here i'm just showing you how you can do that with this split text so connect the text length i don't need uh, uh okay so we have to connect the text list to a uh, list and then we need to specify how many uh, elements you want in the output list right now it says 30 and it's basically repeating whatever uh, this list has already so text list you can see what the hell is going on and it is being repeated and you can control that with you know length so I think that's what I want so I'm going to just connect this to my get length and I will get 100 objects now let's connect this to our text list and let's connect the vectors to our locations and here we have a a text cloud and let's rotate the object on 90 degrees in x in x axis we can also control the scaling so 0.5 all right so this is what the hell is going on text cloud and you can type whatever you want this the lazy fox jumps over the lazy dog there's so many lazy the brown fox random number and I can create a vector from value so connect this here and connect this here but it needs a seed so this we need the amount which is here text uh, get length to count and we have a minimum and maximum uh, scaling we have let's say i want m minimum to be 0.1 and maximum to be 0.5 something like this okay so that that's how you do it that's the basic thing you just have to create these two nodes that's it for this tutorial if you liked it then please like the video share it and uh, give your feedback and uh, that's it so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye